Hi everybody! So welcome to another uh, The Fat Raw Vegan Alaskan Fruit and Veggie Haul video here guys. Um, we're gonna do another one and um, it's kind of a smaller one but um, it's actually I kind of wanted to focus on the fats on this one because lately I have been feeling like I've been wanting a little bit more fats and it just kind of goes to show you how not um, every day throughout the year is going to be the same. I know it's not that way for me, for Miss Stace, guys. It it's always changes up for me, but I know I'm kind of in a period now where I'm kind of needing a little bit more fats, so I picked some different varieties of fats out. So. Um, I wanted to share that with you guys here, but I wanted to share with you just the the pickings I've been getting lately here too. So, um, of course, I I got um, I've, I've actually been really wanting to do just like a whole haul of just hot chia persimmons because it's for persimmon season and um, but I've just got so much frozen fruit like this is what I have left I've been trying to have smoothies and eat up my frozen fruit in there and then I also have a lot of veggies in here so that's why I didn't um, pick up a whole lot but I, I wanted fresh fruits to start ripening because it takes a much longer in the winter time up here in Alaska to ripen so um, I got regular navel oranges just three of them um, to go along with my pomegranate because I love pomegranates and oranges um, but for me you guys um, that's I like variety I don't know about you guys but I like variety and I know a lot of other raw vegan youtubers you'll find that they kind of buy just like one or two fruits or maybe three different types of fruits and they buy them by the case um, you, of course you most certainly can do that but for me I don't really I like variety I've tried that once before and I just, I like variety guys, I like variety. So that's why my hauls are always kind of a little on the smaller side, but also just there's a lot more variety there. <laughs> um, but that's how Miss Stace likes it. That's how I like it. Um, so I got um, navel oranges and a pomegranate and then I got some honey tangerines left over and then I bought some hot chia persimmons but they take a long time to ripen so um, I only bought five. I want to buy a case of them soon here because they finally showed their face up here in Alaska but they're super hard so they got a long time because I know they have to be so soft to where they're almost falling apart when they're ripe and ready so those have a long time to ripen and then the grapes these black grapes were they looked so good and they they feel really firm and just the bag it was in I was just like I haven't had black grape grapes in a while so I'm like I better pick some up I just I kept coming back to them so I'm like gosh dang it miss dice just pick them up and then I got two um, large solo diamond head papayas, my favorite type of papaya, my cheesy ched cheddar cheese type papaya. Um, it's a, the two big ones. Um, they were like four fifty each. They don't get any cheaper than that. Um, but they only had two there. Otherwise, I would have bought a whole lot more. Um, but I got two papayas there. Uh, let's see persimmons. And then I got cherub tomatoes um, because they were actually on sale at. Uh, pretty cheap at Walmart they were like 288 at Walmart so I'm like oh my gosh because they're usually like five dollars at Fred Meyers up here dang it oh but but those hot chia persimmons they were <laughs> for five of those that cost me around thirteen dollars for those because they're 599 per pound so that just gives you a perspective on how expensive things are up here in Alaska in a cold extremely cold climate but you know what you gotta invest in your health. I love it. But I got leftover apples there for juicing and putting in smoothies and stuff. And then um, I bought some more heirloom tomatoes um, for my uh, cheesy corn dressing that I've loved so much for a very long time. But I love heirloom tomatoes, so I got two of those. Those are organic. They were from my co-op market. And then I got two packs of uh, medjool dates. I love having medjool dates in my dressings. Um, I, I usually just use these for my dressings and then I have leftover tomatoes and lemons and a little uh, purple onion there some garlic uh, ginger and some leftover really spicy holy mackerel spicy peppers from my garden so that's what I got there for my dressings and then I got um, 
it's a 10 ounce pack of spinach one large cucumber was super good it it's um i think it was like a, a dollar fifty um and it was on sale so pick that up for juicing and then i got a pack of mixed it's a mixed green pack uh, 11 ounces and it was on sale at walmart so i'm like yes i gotta do it because i've been um getting back into my green juices again i've been wanting my green juices but i've also been wanting to have lots more green smoothies too so that's why i picked up lots of greens there and then um coconut water ah oh, oh uh, those sweet young thai coconuts are still at walmart so this was like three fifty eight, I believe. Um, but oh, the coconut water in these are so delicious! Oh my goodness, and um, I just like the coconut meat in there too. It's really soft, and it, it's like you like all you other raw foodies that I watch on the YouTube. There, the young Thai co coconuts are amazing, but they are expensive, and so. Um, for coconut water, which I like using in my smoothies and stuff, um, there's a different brand of coconut water that kind of is also available to me. It says harmless coconut water. Um, so I also drink that also, but that's used for my smoothies. So I picked up three of those. Those were $5.99 each. Holy moly. Okay, move along now. We know it's expensive, right? And then I picked up a small avocado because I've been feeling avocado vibes. Um, so just a small one. And then I picked up hemp seeds um, because I really like making the, it's a creamy hemp dressing uh, dip with romaine. And I got lots of romaine in um, the fridge there. And it's one of my uh, dressings. I'm trying to get the video up for you guys, but my video editor went kaput on me. So I'm like, Man, time just not good with technology here, guys. It's not for me. But um, so that video will be coming out hopefully soon. But I did um, make it make it raw recipe where you guys come along with me, and we'll make a creamy hemp dressing sauce and. It's inspired by the one of the wonderful, wonderful, um, lovely Tanny Raw dressings. Um, it, it's not her one of her exact dressings, but it's inspired by her one of them. And it's super good, so that's why I picked up these. And also, I like making um, it's like a milkshake almost, where you take bananas and um, hemp seeds, and then even some coconut water, and it turns oh, heavenly, so good. So good. So hemp seeds, that's why I got hemp seeds. And then tonight for my dinner, I'm having durian. So I picked up two packs of durian. And um, when I have durian, um, I usually go through two packs. This is how I thaw it out. I just have warm water here. It's not super hot, but it's enough to where I, I can still touch it and everything. But it's um, thawing out and I thaw it out that way. And I'm getting ready to have durian for my dinner. Um, so tonight is um, a higher, uh, fat type dinner um, and that's what I like to do when it's durian time and you gotta love durian I don't know about you guys but mm. and up here in Alaska I get my durian up it's an oriental market so it's a s small little store but it's like it's like 25 below so 25 below zero Fahrenheit for some of you guys who go by Celsius, also it's Fahrenheit. So today, minus 25, nothing new under the sun up here in Alaska. And we've only been, um, let's see, it, we're approaching, well, December now. Um, so we only had roughly, it was, it was roughly around four hours of daylight, four or five hours of daylight today. So we're still losing daylight every day and it's just getting darker and darker and darker. That's a whole nother story too, you guys. But um, my durian, I do, I do can, I can get my durian in the actual rinds like that. But there's only like one or two that are available to me, and but they freeze it. And I picked one up and tried it once before, and it was just such a hassle. And the durian wasn't even, wasn't even good inside because it was frozen and it, I just I wasn't doing doing that again because durian is too good of a fruit and too expensive of a fruit up here in Alaska that you just don't want to chance it like that so I buy the durian in the packs like this and this is how I eat my durian and most certainly I would love to eat it nice and fresh straight from the rind um, but I just don't have that access 
um, prop, the proper access of way of eating it to me up here in Alaska. Okay, guys, so remember to love being raw, you guys. Put a big old smile on your face today. I hope I did that for you guys. And I'll see you guys next video, okay? Bye, guys.